What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of myinvestingclub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at myinvestingclub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. What's up everyone, uh, it's Tom Diesel here on another uh, weekly video for you guys. Um, hope you guys had a great trading week, uh, you know, this week and, uh, you know, also a wonderful weekend as well. Uh, today I'm going to do a little bit, uh, you know, differently from, from the previous uh, videos. I'm going to go over uh, one of my trade that I took on uh, Friday that was a losing trade and um, you guys probably have noticed that I post some uh, you know um, red p and uh, in the main chat as well so I just want to go over that uh, quickly and also there are some uh, you know few of the important topics that I would like to kind of address uh, you know on that as well so let's get into it um, yeah so my the ticker that I lost on uh, was uh, INO. Uh, I kind of traded this uh, in the pre-market because uh, why I did do that? <clears throat> I'm just gonna bring the chart, uh, you know, up real quick here. I mean, uh, the stock was pretty extended uh, for the you know last few days, and uh, basically, you guys can see it went from uh, you know it was like uh, June twenty second. <clears throat> Uh, from 14 to like you know almost like uh, 35 um, you know uh, 32 33 here so you have one day two four five I mean it's uh, you know to me it's it's pretty uh, overextended and also the volume as you see coming in is like uh, you, can, you can easily tell that <coughs> those are people longing the stock or like chasing the stock uh, drive up the momentum right and so for the first red day setup uh, we want to see the over you know ex extension like this instead of you know uh, just like uh, one or two days it's not even extended enough for me to kind of interested in that move so I kind of waited uh, you know for a stock to to her to to run up like that uh, and it's been one, two, three, four, five days, and it was pretty uh, overextended to me. Since like fifteen to like thirty, so it's like fifteen bucks there for for the drop, right? So and uh, and so that's why I kind of anticipate uh, the first red day uh, move a little bit in the pre market, uh, knowing that uh, Friday was the day. I mean, my thesis is you know was correct. But my executions are for, uh, you know, are really far from, you know, uh, from from the best or like are, are far from from being great. So uh, I just want to go over uh, with that uh, with you guys, and uh, so that you know, hopefully you can you know pick up some lesson from this. Uh, also about the first Reddit, uh, you know, setup about the pre market trading, and also how to deal when you kind of miss your entries right uh, usually what you do after that or like what I did on Friday like I was frustrated I mean technically I didn't chase the entries but uh, you know it's just like I, I felt so down that my thesis was so right but I couldn't execute it you know uh, it well and let it you know slip uh, basically so um, I'm just gonna go over that uh, in details with you guys and uh, I hope hopefully you know it's gonna help uh, so yeah so I posted this one in the main chat on Friday and regarding about pre-market trading okay so what do you think uh, you know what like a lot of people uh, a lot of members asking me what do I think about it I mean pre-market trading I mean the concept here is pretty much the same as long as you have a plan as long as you have predefined risk right y like you're gonna do you know it well but keep in mind that uh, in the pre-market 
uh, you can like you don't have uh, hard stops, right? So all you have to do is to stop out on time, you know, being able to hit the limit orders, uh, you know, to execute it, you know, when the stock is popping back up. So and because you cannot use a market order, so that's why. And I posted uh, this one. As you can see here, I was uh, anticipating the move. Yeah, so uh, 7 a.m. Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm using Trezor, so it opens 7 a.m. Uh, I saw it was popping here, re you know, rejects and uh, popping back here. This line again. So uh, the the moment it kind of rejects to this line, I I shorted some here and risking over just this line. It's like it's like 33.8 and my average uh, was here like 33.58 something like that. Uh, I was basically risking like you know maybe 20 or, or 30 cents here, and uh, right after that, uh, stock uh, wash, which is you know confirm my thesis right wash down here. You know, and I saw this rejections through view app and I said, all right, so the 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 green to red move is on 31.25, right? So I was hoping for the stock to kind of, you know, wash down here more and then pop back and then continue to fade you know, and maybe a big wash at open. And so that was my thesis. And uh, uh, as I, as soon as stock cracked, this view app level, I was pretty confident that okay. So my thesis is kind of work now. Uh, maybe uh, I I mean you know it's still the first red day anticipation because uh, it's it's not even uh, it didn't even went red yet, yet right. But uh, had a big wash. You know I cover some here, and when it start kind of trying to bounce back here, I said to myself, okay, so I'm gonna add back all the shares that I cover here. As the stocks, uh, you know, continue to fade more down here, maybe crack this line. I probably, you know, this is, uh, you know, pretty much the same as, uh, uh, also equivalent to, to the green to red kind of line. And if it cracks, you know, under that, I'm gonna add back more on onto that pop. So that that was my thesis basically. But since I was trading a pre-market, I had, I, I, I need to have a risk in place, right? Uh, so whatever I do uh, is, uh, you know, I had a good entry here, good average. Okay, I'll cover some here, add it back here. My new average now is around like 33, 22, something like that. And it was like, you know, well above view app. So, right. And to me, if the stock breaks this level, probably my thesis is no longer valid. So that's what uh, I did here. I try to add back and stock couldn't do what I think it would do like a uh, fade down here more instead of pop like that so I just end up covering the rest and for break even basically so that was the the first trade of the day uh, in the pre-market I was up you know uh, like small here I mean that's that's fine right I didn't lose any money but I, I had a, a plan I stuck to it and you know I was pretty happy and and that was it but the biggest one came right after this, right? As you can see, like this one, right? So after I got stop out here, yeah, uh, I just wanna um, uh, again uh, emphasize on the pre-market trading one more time. Uh, the pre-market trading, okay, guys, uh, if you knew, uh, don't try it because you are not used to the volatility in the pre-market. I mean, sometimes it could have a news or like, you know, catalyst, something like that. And a stock could really pop like crazy. Uh, let's say this one, v v VXRT, and especially not on the day one, right? That's, uh, that's why we don't recommend trading pre-market because of that. I mean, look at this move. Like it was like uh, 8 a.m. or something, right? Stock is like a wick here a little bit, uh, right? Uh, crack through view app, pop back here, and you're thinking, you know, you're shorting down here, expecting, you know, move down here. I mean, that's, you know, the thesis is okay, but you have to ask yourself, where would you like to stop, right? But, it, you know, if you not fast enough uh, with stopping, I mean, look at the slippage you could get, you know, from 8.2 all the way to 10. And, there's no hard stops in pre-market trading. 
and uh, you know daily max loss I I don't think they will trigger in the pre-market as well so basically you pretty much you know done right and instead of uh, waiting for the market to open and uh, put a hot stop there I mean yes you can put a hot stop here so if it pops like that it will stop you out maybe with slippage somewhere around here but that's fine but still the the hot stop is there to protect you the max loss is there to protect you as well but in pre-market you know, like you have no seat belt no airbag nothing so you have to keep that in mind if you still want to take that risk uh, I mean I, I would prefer it for more seasonal or like more experienced trader uh, to kind of do it but instead of someone who's just you know been trading for a few months or even a year yeah mm, so that's it for this week guys i hope this video helped have a good one guys take care thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here